Hey guys, so I'm Hedgehog here, and today I'm gonna be looking at bad reviews, and, mm, sorry, bad critic reviews of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. So let's go. Okay, so the first one is by Rebecca Harrison. Hmm, let's see. A tedious and entirely predictable film that, in spite of its supersonic hedgehog, we manages to feel dull and slow. What? A wasted Jim Carrey. That's not used for Carrey. Jim Carrey fails to save a movie in which none of the characters inspire any sympathy. Are you joking, kidding me? Well, I'm, I'm the fastest hedgehog on planet Earth, kid. I, and all the actors show a lot of sympathy, Rebecca. Jim Carrey, Ben Schwartz, James Marsden, Tika Sensor. We all did a great job. Yeah. Ugh, great. Okay, so the next one is, um... It is nonsense that bores me for an hour and a half without any intention of abandon, abandoning the, the showy effectism and, and the routine plots full of clinches of all kinds in order to move it down the easier than full review in Spanish. No. No, no, no Spanish! Why are you guys in this movie? Come on! This is actually, listen to us, the movie would have flopped, so the, the, the movie would have been worse. This guy is awesome. Why do you guys hate him so much? This is mine, that's my face. Okay, yeah, sir. Okay, next one is from Pilot Shahari. Right. Hoping to capitalize on the wave of nostalgia around vintage video games, Paramount delivers a feature-length commercial to sell Sonic the Hedgehog merchandise to kids. That's the freaking point of a movie. Yeah. And yeah, the point of the movie is to, is to make a lot of money. And um, to have some merchandise because if the movie was popular. Let's scroll down. <laughs> okay, so the next one is from Jason Friend. Okay, let's see this one. As the credits roll, you may leave with an amused smile, but not in the emotional search should cheer for time well spent. Don't hold your breath for Sonic Sidekick Tales to appear. You'll likely have to wait for the sequel in Sonic 2. That's why post credits exist, Jason. That's why they exist. Next one is from Carla Hay. Let's see what she has to say. Children younger than, than the age of 10 will probably enjoy Sonic the Hedgehog at most, but everyone else will have to sit through the same recycled trip that have been seen many times before in TV cartoons over the years. <sighs> you don't have a soul, don't you? <sighs> they were from little kids wearing diapers to older women in wheelchairs laughing at the movie. They loved it. Everybody liked it. I mean, Deb. All right. Hopefully this will all end soon. Here's one from Alan Machar. Yeah. The film has such little effect on me that the biggest response I can muster is to shrug my shoulders and say, meh, it was okay. A sick boss! <laughs> If I was a critic, I would give my movie an A+. Plus. A C+, plus, that, that's unacceptable. Ugh. I'm the most pop, one of the most popular characters in the history of video games. Ugh. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> Doug Walker? I was reviewed by Doug Walter? The nostalgia critic? See what he has to say. He better be good. A slow road trip is not what's fun about Sonic. What are you talking about? That's what's the greatest movie ever. <laughs> I'm unsubscribing to you, Channel Awesome. I'm unsubscribing. I can't believe you hate my movie. The next one is from Nathaniel Wayne. As someone who had no nostalgia for Sonic, it's just fine. 
It only insulted my intelligence and handful of times at the end of the day. Oh, so he didn't grow up with me? Okay, that makes sense. Scroll down. There. Next one is, um, Derek Deska. Okay, so there's a, this is a movie that frequently makes jokes at the expense of Olive Garden, while itself being the Olive Garden of movies. Well, Olive Garden in the movie was okay. I would have recommended um, uh, my fast food restaurant, Sonic. I would have recommended that. Alright. Uh, let's see. I am Thomas Madden. He says, Sonic the Hedgehog takes Sega's standard bear bearer for the concept of cool and comments the unthinkable Sonic is boring. Oh, yeah. So, as a matter of fact, I know I can't move my fingers, but if I could, I would give her the middle finger every single day. Uh, okay, let's see what the next next one is. Okay, the next one is from Linda Cook. This is, this is an average fast-packed kids to keep the kids occupied. Average. Huh. I'd say, I'd say my movie would be around average. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Envy Moorhead has said, It isn't quite awful, but it's pretty formulaic stuff. Well, I don't know what formulaic means, but all right. There's one from Bob Chipman who says, Bland, black, basic of the shelf album meeting the, the minimum requirements of being technically a movie because someone paid for the rights to Sonic the Hedgehog and had to make it eventually an even worse version of Howard the Duck. I do agree that Howard the Duck was terrible, but my movie is way better than Howard the Duck because for Howard the Duck, they used a puppet and CGI was not really frequently used. So I had to use CGI because it's 2020, boys. Okay, so the next one is from David Nuthers. says, Sonic the Hedgehog perhaps inevitably seeks into a hit and miss section that increasingly more missing. You're saying my movie's not a hit? What did Paramount actually save the movie? Same with Jim Carrey. They had, they redesigned Sonic. Listen to the fans. So, shut up. Okay, scroll down. Ba 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 ba. Next one is, oh, oh, the next one is from Ed Potton, a top critic. Let's see, um, sure there's enough here to divert now people for a while, but their parents would do well to bring a blindfold and earplugs. Who needs a blindfold and earplugs, huh? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm a, I'm a, <clears throat> um, next year's gonna be my 30th anniversary, believe it or not. So don't ruin my 30th anniversary. Uh, so the next one is from Edward Porter. He said, This live action film has a chance of keeping children briefly entertained with its skinfully engineered set pieces, but its trait and surgery and Jim Carrey cannot redeem it. Screw you. Next one is from Ugg's Cruise. Oh, there's the property is better off as a video game where if the character gets too bothersome with its antics, one can simply put a stop with the push of a button. Ugh. These people aren't making any sense. Scroll, scroll. Okay. Oh, thank God it's almost the last page. Only three more critics and I'm out. Ugh. Okay, so there's one brothers. Uh, Clary, Clarice Longray, a top critic. Okay, file this one away next to the live action Alvin and the Chipmunks, the live action Yogi Bear, and the live action Rocky and Bullwinky. It's nothing we haven't seen before. Or well, yeah, right. Those those movies were terrible. My movie was good, like live action Smurfs. Okay, so there's um, Aguilera. 
Sonic's new design is all good, but that's only good enough to sell toys. Thanks for the compliment of my design and not the movie! Okay, last one and I'm all done. Matt Brunson says, Seeing Jim Carrey back in action made me realize that I didn't really miss him. Dude! You haven't seen classic Jim Carrey since the 90s! You, saw him, you haven't seen him since Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber, The Mask, etc. Well, uh, I hate those people. I hate these people. I hate these so much. So finally, um, thank God this is over. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you leave, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and press the notification to get all my videos. See you next time. Bye.